Okay, good day to all my co-engineers, RMEs, and mga kakosa kong mga electricians dyan. This is the last stop part of my series of my share, uh, sharing of knowledge to you for the year 2019. This is an electrical load calculation for the small commercial build office building. And uh, it's going to be based on the area method by PEC 2017 versus the actual load schedule. Ito po yung proposed 500 meters large square area location. Ito yung single line diagram na propose natin. We're going to uh, find out the main feeder line here, the service equipment, OCPD, the equipment grounding conductor, the GEC, the mold, I mean the main bonding jumper. We're going to calculate everything and we're going to assume the neutral is going to be the same size as that of the ungrounded conductors just for the purpose of mitigating the expected harmonics uh, in the systems that distort the systems actually so we're going to size that okay these are the load schedules and let's go for the calculation procedures the first is the receptacles and uh, based on the PEC uh, we have an 11 volt amperes per meter squared here and we're going to multiply that by the square area and we're going to get this uh, 55 kBA and if you're going to get the schedule loads uh, we have 550 receptacles times 180 VA and that VA is going to be here and we're going to have this 99 kVA according to the rules if uh, we have a uh, more than 10 kVA we have to derate based on this uh, uh, table so uh, derate first at plus 10 kVA at 100 percent and we had 99 minus 10 kVA and cut it to 50% and we shall have this 54.5 kVA but uh, we have the largest to 55 kVA so this is going to this is where we, the, we're going to use the 55 kVA the largest one okay now base uh, and according to this uh, general lighting load so we have an uh, a, uh, based on the office building, we have this uh, 28 VA m squared multiplied it by the uh, large square area and uh, uh, continuous load of 125% and we shall get this 175 KB based on the PEC code and based on the actual load schedule we shall have this 40 pieces of the lighting load times this uh, 0.27 230, 0.27 is the ballast actually the amperes of the ballast so times 125 and we are going to get this uh, 35 kBA but the largest but the largest one is 175 kBA so we're going to use 175 kBA in our calculations proceedings okay the show windows is easy let's take a look at that the track lights also is easy same and uh, the signage is easy also to calculate and interpret the uh, PEC. You now let's go to this. The heating. Okay, the heating is uh, we have two units, uh, 15 kilowatts heaters. And we'll get this 45 kVA. Note the power factors of the heating or heater or we're going to produce uh, to provide the heat. And the power factor is uh, 1, that's the kilowatt is equals to the kVA, that's the reason why. And uh, we have the chillers here, base, uh, we have three, uh, three units of uh, chillers and the rated load amperes, 82 amperes times vol uh, three phase, 400 volts times 1.73, we shall get this uh, 173 kVA. This is a non-coincident load, so what uh, we have been done, uh, they are not uh, activating all at the same time. Kaya isa-isa lang kung ang heating lang ay po-provide niya ay wala itong chiller. Pag ang cooling ay po-provide niya wala itong heating. Okay? So, yan yung tinatawag na coincidental loads. So, we shall get the 175 kV. 70 kV, sorry. But for the motors naman, we have this uh, Okay, two units of 20 HP. I think FLC is 27 based on this. Okay, yan ang arrangements ito. So, may take the largest uh, of the motor for the fourth four motors here. We have four motors here. 
the largest one plus uh, 25 percent and uh, you have this 41 kva so you don't need to put another make a plus 25 percent for the pump because it's already counted here in this calculation na nagdagdag na tayo ng plus 25 percent or 125 percent so meron siyang 19 kva for the pump two pumps hindi ito mga non-coincidental load so sila lahat ay ginagamit natin so sila ay kasama sa ating mga calculation ng may boast motors right, ito yung sa kitchen equipment we have a total of 60 kva alright ayan po at yung per factor niyan dahil mga heaters yan ay uh, equals to 1 these are resistive loads so 1 kilowatt niya 1 kilowatt is equal to 1 kva so we have this uh, kitchen six uh, more than over six uh, units of the appliances so we use a 65 percent based on the code so itong gagawin natin 39 kva ito yung largest total connected load ng lahat ng ating load so may 520 kva ka so service uh, it's still for the service uh, main feeder line so may 520 kba i not in total is uh, divided this so we shall get the 750 and we divide this by three so we're going to have this 250 so my three sets tire uh, if you're going to see this 250 base pec 310.2.6 b16 over 75 because this is uh, more than 100 amperes so 175 degrees yan. So we still have these three sets of 125 mm squared THSN plus 125 THW neutral per phase. So mayroon siyang neutral na nakaroon din doon sa mga raceways, apat sa tatlong raceways. Okay. This is the, actually the, the table that uh, we're going to 75, mayroon tayong 75 dyan. Ang... And then natin dyan is 250. So, nandito siya sa between 220 to 255. So, yung pinakamataas ng positive yung kukunin natin. 255. Oh, this corresponding 125 mm squared. Ang main OCP din naman ay just simple as 800. Okay, the grounding electric conductor is based on the PEC 250.37. 317 so in three sets na yan that three sets ang ano natin three raceways we have to multiply that by the 125 mm squared na nakuha natin kanina and we shall get this 375 so we are going to base this on the PEC 250.3.17 we shall get this 150 mm squared ito po yan ayan ang, ang grounding natin so ang fold niya 375 niya dito tayo so get this 50 so nasa minimum pa rin tayo ng 50 mm squared sa ating mga grounding in parallels okay that's for the copper okay the equipment grounding conductor man is the match where uh, rule tends to match the main ocpd of 800 amperes okay then we go to this the pc 250.613 use three sets of 50 mm kasi Ang isip ito, ito yung mga tatlong nakasama doon sa re-routing ng ating mga grounded wires at saka mga neutral. Yung ating equipment. So, tingnan natin kung uh, 50 mm squared yan. So, kung meron kang 800 dito, ayan. So, meron siyang 50. So, meron nasa code pa, compliant code pa rin tayo ng 50 mm squared minimum sa ating uh, parallel conductors. So, the main bonding jumper naman ay uh, dito tayo magbabase. Kung nag-exceed ang ating computation sa ang wire natin is 850 mm squared, we have to use this 2.5% uh, sa computation natin. Kaso, 375 lang tayo. So, dito na lang tayo sa 375. So, babalik tayo sa GC table na yan. Kung yan, uh, GC table, okay? Uh, three sets ya. Yeah. Pero hindi siya in parallel. So, ang pagpunta tayo sa GC table, 1 
isang 150mm squared ang makikita natin dyan sa GC table para sa 375 let's take a look at that ito po 375 saan na yan dito tayo so ito yung ating copper so 50 tama yung 51 sa GC na sa ano natin sa main bonding so isa lang yan isang wire lang siya That's the main bonding jumper. One wire only. Okay, ito yung service entrance. So, it's conductor. So, final setup natin dun sa service entrance. Okay, yan yung lahat. Okay, folks. Happy New Year to all. Puto ka na. Sana hindi kayo makabuo. Puto ka lang. Walang puto lang kamay, okay? Happy New Year.